Ok, well, eh, grazie a tutti per essere venuti. Eh, thank you very much for inviting me this, to this event. Eh, um, it was very interesting for us to come here to the Arts Marathon and meet new people, meet friends that we, we was together these days with them and say thank you to my arch um, angel, Stefano, because he's very friendly and I feel here at home. Well, uh, my name is Lucas Diaz. I'm a co-director of Diaz y Diaz Architects with Gustavo Diaz Garcia, who's my uncle, who's sitting right there. Uh, this is a familiar studio. It's a very, very small studio in the northwest of Spain. And uh, we think that this is an international event. The organization asked me to, to explain directly the, the project, but I need, or well, I think that is good, uh, that in international event, uh, just talk a few minutes around the, our area in Galicia. Uh, we live here in the <coughs> sorry we, need he we live here in the northwest of Spain and um, the the most typical uh, well the, mo the most typical thing of our region are the rias is uh, very uh, is similar of Noruega the fjords noruegos uh, we have uh, all, uh, most of our economy is based on the sea and most of the village are a uh, sorry Oy. very close to the sea and then in the land is nothing, just a small uh, civilization or a small village. This is a picture of Finisterre, it's very close of our home. It's the end of Camino de Santiago. It's also uh, the end of land, the end of a uh, Roman Empire. And uh, we, we receive most of the storms of the outside of the rears, the storms came from the Sargathos uh, Sea. So we really believe in ar architectural tradition because uh, it is very, uh, it's very simple and it's very natural. All the civilization is in the inside of the rears and the, we can find you know, just a small fish in a village all around the interior of the estuaries. Uh, this is where, where we live and where we have our home and studio. It's very, very small. We are only uh, eight, 80 uh, neighbors, so it's really, really small. We, we have been always fascinated by the professional sense that the old sailors of this region develop. Uh, we, we learn about these people. Uh, they are plenty sensitive rooted with the territory. So we, we learn a lot of things uh, about these old uh, simple uh, people. We think that the, 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 when we are working, uh, the, our parking is very close to the sea. So we like to catalog the, the projects, uh, it depending the site that they are. So the parking is near the sea. So we make this kind of situation of our projects. So uh, we think that the relation uh, between the buildings and the sea are very important. And in traditional architecture, there is a natural connection between uh, buildings and, and the land and the site. Just let me, let me just explain very, very fast, like five people saw, sorry, five uh, works of our studio, uh, that they are in the, very close to the sea. We were very happy because we, we when in the parking we didn't know what is the, uh, the qualification, the category. Now here in the Arch Marathon we have transport category. Uh, now in the, in, in, in our studio, we decide to catalog by the, the place. So let me show you this, this fast project. This is our home studio. 
We like to make this kind of change to, to, to feel connected with land. Uh, this is a, a Los Rosales kindergarten. We try to find in a very, very huge place a natural platform, and we like to don't touch the, the, the ground. This is an, uh, another field in for the safe navigation in very close to our place in Ferrol, in the, the rear, up to the north. This is an uh, judge club of Porto Novo. So it seems normal that in the place that we live, we are always connected with the buildings who are very close to the sea. This is another school. And this is a home that we already uh, finished in, well, well, with very nice views. So it's very gla many glass to the, to the views. And well, this is a, our proposal for the Arch Marathon Awards in the transport category. Um, three years ago, the, the, con the, um, uh, the town hall of La Coruña made a contest. Uh, but we were very surprised because the contest was just doing a parking and they gave us like two solutions. One solution was uh, taking the, the parking ground floor and the other solution was making a parking uh, behind trees or with green stuff in the facade and they give us the, the plan. So we didn't think that this is a good idea for our project because we, we, we think that a parking could be a, a good building. I'm sure if the, the building uh, was an office program or something like that, they, they didn't need to say this to the architects of the contest. So we were very surprised because we make a, another a proposal for the contest. This is the first solution to take the plants uh, down in the ground and this is the, another solution from the Council of La Coruña that they like a parking, trying to occult the parking or something like that. This sounds very, very strange for us. Well, we think that we, we should know where are we working and we, we really like to spend a lot of time uh, trying to visit the, the place and the site. So we noticed that this was a chaotic area. It was really horrible, a urban disaster. Uh, you have here a, a lot of residential area with very low quality. We have here another um, residential area for the who is now working in, in them and we are worried about what, what are they going to do there. And here, the, here, here is a huge building, a hospital building for child and here the uh, cancer center of Galicia. So this is the site. Uh, it was an uh, old canteer in stone. We noticed that at the top of the, the roof or the upside, it was a nice view from the estuary to the east and then to the sea on the other side. Maybe I have more pictures. And we have a, a very a problem. You know, you can see the problem with the traffic and a connection problem because the parking is going to be here and the hospital is here. So we need to connect both sides. And we have a vertical problem because we have here 15 meters difference. This, you can see here the stone of the country and with the trees. And we need to connect this. So it doesn't make sense to go uh, under the ground and it doesn't make sense for us to, to hide the building. So we start working with, with drawings. Um, in the office and thinking maybe the, the old stone canteer can be just a little bit separated of the building and we can uh, find natural ventilation and natural lighting so it's going to be a cheap building and we like to maybe uh, the first idea was like make the stairs for the public uh, in general. Here we were thinking that we need a vase or a zócalo 
because we need to connect the ramps of the parking and uh, make two exit and two entrance for the rush time hours. Well, uh, here is our, one of our first uh, models in our, um, in our studio. We have a small uh, model shop. And we are always with a lot of plans, a lot of, uh, you know, with the sticky fingers, making a lot of models with the hands, but these are just not uh, great models, but models that help us to work in the projects. And this is one of the first ones. Uh, we, we, we decide that we need a bridge of connection to resolve the problem of the highway, which is here. And we think that maybe the, this building, this vertical building, can make a plaza in the top and make um, a stair, not just, not, not just only for the parking users, you know, for the public in general. So we have here this new residential area. Here in the other side, you have a school. Uh, and a hospital, and you have here the beaches at the, at the riverside, so we think that this, it could be a great idea if, if we can connect this uh, bridge with the tower vertical and resolve this problem of connection. This is our plants. We, we design, a, well, it's a parking, so we, we design a very cheap and fast uh, way to make the construction with a prefabricated uh, structure in concrete. And here we start working with the facade, just composition. Here a structures plan, and here at the, this point we decide to make in concrete this vertical building that we can connect with these things. And then here with the prefabricated uh, structures and floors uh, panels, because uh, we think that this is a um, concession administrativa, is something uh, is just for the 25 next year, so we think that maybe we can demolish this building in the future or we can make another use in the building, but we think that this building uh, should be there because it's the building that is resolving some problem. Here is the simplest terms of lighting because we have natural lighting and natural ventilation, so it's a cheap building, it's a cheap for the maintenance. And here we start working with the details. At the first moment, we, we, we work with stone and with great um, aluminum uh, timbers. Here we start at six months. Uh, in six months, we resolve the structure. And at this point, uh, some, uh, well, someone, uh, well, Susanna Ale was some people from the council told us that they think that the, the building, the parking building, could be a, a good building. So they decide to make a colorful building. So they, they keep in touch with us and they say, oh, maybe you can work something about colorful building because you have there a hospital for childs, you have a, a cancer center in, in, in in Galicia, so maybe we need something colorful. We, we think that this is not really important, the, but the idea, the, this idea like us, because uh, with the cars in the inside and the colors, we can uh, hide the car, so it should, maybe it works great. This is the, the, the garden or the plaza in the roof. We was here at trying to find something cheap for the Zócalo, no? with concrete, with panels of concrete. It's like traditional architecture, not, not many materials. So we said, no, not the stone, concrete, wood, aluminum, no, just simplify the project and with concrete we, we can resolve everything. And we, we start here thinking about the composition and the colors, and uh, uh, this is very, very well for all the architects, I think, because when, when you choose the colors, it's in a small paper, so uh, sometimes you make you crazy with the colors, because this is the, the first, uh, um, the first uh, um, test that we made, and it was terrible, so we decided to change it. This is another one, and we really don't like it. 
And then we find one that can work. You can see here there, there is cars, but with this kind of colors, you can see the car. So it helps us to, to, to make a, a, a good facade. And you can see here the, the building who can work for all the users, not only for the parking and the bridge. So for us, and you can see the, the concrete that we made there, because it's, like, it's just a tick, like say, okay, we are going to be here for a few more years, no, or something like that. This is an, another picture that we, that we have in, on the internet of our neighbor, that live very close to the parking. This is the, the entrance in the roof. You can see there the, sorry, the, the, the sea. And the hospital, that we need this connection for this bridge. And this is a plaza in the upside. The horizontal problem with the bridge connected. Well, this is a picture about uh, the lighting. We, need, uh, we, we want natural lighting for the building, and we want natural ventilation, so it helps us. We just clean that, that old canteer. Well, this is a detail because we, we are very close to the sea, so we, we use the uh, 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 iron and the aluminum, so we need to put these things. It's like the, the rubber, the wetsuit uh, material. And here is a detail of the facade, and it was uh, funny that because uh, three months ago, a friend called us and he said, "May hey, someone make a kind of extension of your parking in, in Coruña?" So I was running to the to the place, no, and I find I found this. No, it's very funny because I was talking with this guy, and he told me that it was very, very, very difficult to to find the same colors at the shop. So he he was a little bit crazy about the colors. He was funny, but. I, I could see that sometimes we, we try to, 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 to improve the, the area, but we live in, in Galicia, we live in the end of the Roman Empire, and sometimes it's very difficult for us. And uh, this is the, 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 the last picture that I have, and I, well, I like to say that for us, uh, well, this this building, we think that uh, should uh, should work for all the the community that live here. We think that the best thing is not the composition, not the ego of the architect that try to be there with the building or wherever. We really uh, think and we really feel that this building help the, help the area, not only for the for the parking. Uh, it it helps the people with the wheelchairs, the old people, just to walk, to be connected. And I think that this is an opportunity. And for me, the the, the best thing of this project is the town council thing in one way just trying to make a simple parking and that's it. And they, they make an effort, so changing the way of thinking. And let us do this, this building. And thank you, that's it. <laughs>